CTV News at 6 with Hudson Mack. Good evening. Thank you for being here. The windstorm that roared across Vancouver Island on Sunday left its mark and it's still being felt today. BC Hydro and emergency crews were busy for most of the day dealing with downed power lines yesterday and uprooted trees. And the coroner's service is investigating the death of a man found in Ganges Harbour off Salt Spring who may have fallen off his boat during the storm. BC ferries still swamped with the backlog from the windstorm yesterday that wiped out nearly the entire schedule. And tonight, passengers are being advised that if they need to get off the island tonight, they should travel to Nanaimo and the Departure Bay Ferry Terminal. CTV Stephen Andrew reports. For the thousands of people waiting to get off Vancouver Island, this is a welcome sight. We were here yesterday. Were you? Waiting, yeah. We missed, uh, we got here at about 11 uh, noon-ish and uh, they cancelled all the ferries. For most of Sunday, winds close to 100 kilometres an hour roared across Vancouver Island, shutting down the ferry service. Winds so strong and relentless, it sent waves pounding to shore, barely allowing people to keep their feet on the ground and tearing trees from their roots and knocking down power lines. Fire crews forced this gas station to close when the risk of live wires on the ground causing an explosion was too great. Just the potential for uh, a, a disaster, in my opinion, if the wire came down and then the... Uh step potential or the ground potential ignited the uh, fuel tanks. As the wind continued, the wait at Swartz Bay Ferry Terminal grew longer. We're all in a holding pattern. Okay. okay. Thank you for your patience. <laughs> Thank you for okay. your patience. <laughs> On that note, I think uh, I'm going to have to think about this and see if I'm going to turn around and just go catch a flight from Air Canada or something. This morning, an initial rush of people trying to get off the island meant more waits. How is it throwing off your travel plans? Well, I'm supposed to be at work today, so a lot. BC Ferries added extra sailings, and for a few short hours, it appeared all was well. We did see a second wave of traffic, uh, so we are quite busy. We are recommending customers might want to consider traveling via Departure Bay, where we have two routes off the island. But with a number of passengers already picking up on that suggestion, perhaps the one piece of advice that might guarantee you a spot off the island, don't wait, get to the terminal early, and then wait. Stephen Andrew, CTV News, Victoria.